Mr. Adam, one minute. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm delighted to agree with Mr. Portes and the Communist group on this issue. All across Europe, from Ireland to Latvia, governments are struggling to respond to the financial crisis to the credit crunch by reducing their costs. But we in this House uniquely are massively increasing our expenditure in both relative and absolute terms. We're increasing the perks and the budgets available to members and to staff. And the justification that's given in this report is a very interesting one because the reason that we're told we need all of this extra spending is because of the additional responsibilities created by the Lisbon Treaty. And in a way that's true, but I think not in the way that the authors intended. What we see is that the bureaucracy is expanding to service the needs of the bureaucracy. The primary function of the Lisbon Treaty is to provide additional work and additional revenue for all the tens of thousands of people who are now directly or indirectly dependent on the European Union for their livelihoods. The one lot of people that we haven't consulted about this are the electorates. And I would love to see issues like this put before our voters to see whether they approve of our voting ourselves additional resources at such a time when all of them are tightening their own belts.